This is Twit. <sighs> and it, can I call it Hello Gate? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind? I do not mind. I think that's pretty <laughs> it just good. just quit on my Surface 2 some patch ago. Oh, well, so I, I, every Windows user, maybe every computer user can sort of relate to this thought, which is you're doing something on your computer, uh, Windows in my case, yep. and uh, something doesn't work. And you're like, well, yep. Windows, you know, or me. Yep. I, it's something, I don't know, some combination it's, it's of... It's just, you know, yeah. normal. Right. So stuff, like in my case, yeah. So I have a lot. In fact, one of the I'm charging two computers over there. One of those is a laptop review laptop like Windows. Hello. Facial recognition doesn't work a lot of the time. It's just kind of the way it is. So you get used to it and you're like, OK, fine, whatever. I guess. Yeah, I'm but don't we rely on it for things like recall? You rely on it for all kinds of things. Yeah. Which is kind of why this is a problem. Um, so the past, I don't know, week or two, 10 days, something like that. I've noticed uh, like I'll be sitting in the dark like I do watching TV. As one and, does. Yeah. Open a little laptop and the little eye thing is like, and it's like, can't find you. And then it has the audacity to give you like tips about how you might fix this problem. Like maybe yeah, you should have more clearly light. clearly your fault. Yeah. Maybe you should try uh, try another face. Do you have another face? Uh, one time it told me it didn't see a face. Like I'm looking, I'm just right in front of the screen, dude. Come yeah. on. Man. So anyway, I, I chalk this up to me. Right or Windows or some combination. Or the weekend up. you can't feel yeah, your just, face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, it turns out no. Um, no? They uh, in the latest uh, Patch Tuesday. So this would have been, yeah, well, eight days ago, I guess. Um, one of the items that was in the list for Windows 10 and 11, I believe, is a um, a fix for a Windows Hello spoofing vulnerability that allowed attackers to perform spoofing locally due to, this is in quotes, inadequate detection or handling of adversarial input perpetrations. Oh, per well, there you go. In Windows Hello. It's perpetrations. That's per what's happening. Per 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 perturbations. Per perturbations. I am perturbed. I am, I am <laughs> vexed by the perturbations. Yes. You ought to be. Um, <laughs> it's a, a lawyer worked on that. I'm yeah, sure. it's a tough it's one. It's a perturbation issue. Yeah. So... The way this worked in the past, and by in the past, I mean literally dating back to what the beginning of Windows two. 10 or something. No, I mean like mm. the way it's always worked is if you're in the dark, it has an IR camera. Right. It's similar to the technology Apple uses for Face ID that yes. can help recognize you in the dark. But yes. now they're just using the camera, and the camera can't see in the dark. Even if you have <laughs> you know light mode on, and it's if if it's dark enough in the room, it's not going to see you. So hilarious um so when it doesn't work it just doesn't recognize you it's not that it has a big pop-up that says i'm not working now so i think no. what microsoft has done has given me as a windows on arm user the ability to experience the intel world where the <laughs> congratulations uh, the camera we know comes you missed up us and it's like aren't you fortunate where are you where are you buddy and where you're you like go? you're holding the thing you're like i'm right here i'm right here hello i'm right hello. here hello and uh it's like nope can't see you and i'm like i am Two feet away from the screen. Come on. So, uh, yeah. So it's not really clear right now uh, how serious this is. It, it's not. Microsoft doesn't know if it's been exploited by attackers. Right. Um, we're going to learn more, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, in, in the, I, and this might be an interim fix. It's like first, let's lock it down. Now let's yeah, develop yeah. some better software to deal with these. What, yeah. what was the phrase you used? Per Perturbation. Perturbation. <laughs> yes. And the input adversarial part of it, right? input perturbation. Adversarial input. So it's a yes. security issue. Yes. 100%. Now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's a security uh, vulnerability uh, update or, you know, whatever they call it. Security vulnerability post or whatever about this. So, yeah, yeah but like but like Richard said, correct. You turn you you fix the problem first, or you eliminate the problem. Yeah, you and, eliminate the breach risk first, then yeah, you restore functionality. And maybe we if we're lucky, right? So, yeah. yeah, this is one of those things. You know, I um, this is coming up a little bit later, but I today is the one year anniversary of the day that Window or Surface Laptop Seven and Surface Pro Eleven were released, right? The Snapdragon computers, and mm -hmm. I have a a nearly flawless experience with this laptop that I bought a year ago. Um, if anything, actually the battery life is actually better now than it was a year ago. That's amazing. But 
the one thing, one of the things that I didn't like about it and don't think is acceptable in a computer that's this expensive is it only has the facial recognition. It doesn't have a fingerprint reader as well. I feel like right. spent over two grand on a laptop, but maybe it should have both, you know, um, just picky like that. So um, I've gotten used to using Windows Hello facial recognition. I actually prefer fingerprint. Frankly, I like to explicitly, you know, signal that I want to log in. But yeah, I've been using it for quite a while now and um, now it doesn't work. So, yeah, that's fine. Well, I mean, so they could add to the front of that screen a nice bright light they could flick on just to get your facial recognition. Then they get all these pictures of you going, ah. Yeah, and if you're stupid <laughs> enough to have it in light mode when you turn this thing on, you actually get that automatically. Um, but it still doesn't. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't believe it's ever worked in the dark for me since last week. I'm, I'm Now I'm not going to remember every instance, but I, I certainly remember this happening multiple times where it's dark. Yeah open it and you're like what's going on here and you're my like, surface yeah. studio two wa- longer ago but it now <clears> has <throat> recognizes my face not in the darkest recently but up until recently it would, and then it would go there's been an error enter your pin yeah yeah i like when uh, you do the That's window the finger one it says oh, i can't can't read the finger you should try another finger you know, like I've only put one finger in this thing. You should know that, yeah. <laughs> you know, or whatever. It's like try a different face. I'm like, yeah, I, I, um, you know, this is what I got. So, yeah. Anyway, we're still not 100 percent clear on what's going on here. So, um, I suspect we'll have an update. Uh-huh. Out, out of sync on the on the Discord just came up the perfect answer, which is they'll add a piece of software that flips to an all white screen at maximum <laughs> yeah, turn brightness. Turn your screen up. Yeah. yeah, boom. Yeah, the, that's the, your flash. The, the, right, like when you do like a selfie and they you do a fake flash. Or whatever. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Maybe that's the answer. I, I oh, look man. forward to that. I don't have like retina problems or anything. So that'll be a fun way to develop those. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.